Hello, welcome to the poster presentation entitled Investigation of the Use of Pediatric Bell Canes with Young Children with Charge Syndrome Not Meeting Gross Motor Milestones. This project is funded by the Charge Syndrome Foundation. I am Dr. Grace Ambrosakin. I'm the President and CEO of Safe Toddles and an Orientation and Mobility Instructor for Hunter College. The pediatric bell cane is a white cane that children can wear. As we see, it consists of a customized belt. Magnets connect the white frame. Ambrosakin's theory, safe mobility is essential to achieve developmental potential. Located the nine areas of the expanded core curriculum above the safety rung in Maslow's hierarchy, safe mobility is essential during the sensory motor stage of development. In a study of 35 children aged one to five years, the children with visual impairments motor milestones improve significantly after wearing their canes. The current study in progress is is investigating whether providing pediatric bell canes to children with charge syndrome would result in similar positive gains. Method Subjects The participant selection criteria were up to 10 children with charge who have independent walking as a goal. We provided families with the belt and a step tracker to wear for one month. Then we provided families with the cane frame to wear for two months. We check in with families weekly to get a step count, videos, and feedback about the child's weekly motor activities and other insights. Seven subjects, three girls, began the project. Preliminary results, motor skills before and with bell canes by age. Participant one was a 22 month old when he began. Although able to walk, he requested to be carried or pushed in a stroller. He was unable to use a handheld device and wearing his cane, he walked happier and with self-confidence. Good job, turn down this way, Bubba. good job. Consider each time the cane frame contacts something, it prevents him from kicking it or running into it unaware. A clear path of travel means you can keep going. What are we doing? Are we out someplace else? Participant two, a 24 month old girl, she requires a frame to walk. Her frame was altered to fit her snugly, making a conflict for the belt cane. Her mom was only able to practice walking with the belt cane without her frame for support. A child who needs both balance support and path information is recommended they use them together. Participant 3, 42 months, he walks with and without a frame. However, his mom indicated that he signs done after wearing his belt cane and appears not to want to wear it. Although that sign also appeared in other videos where he was not wearing his belt cane. Yet all video indications also suggest that he walks better when wearing his belt cane. Notice his hands held at high guard and his gait is less steady when compared to the belt cane conditions. Participant 4 57 months old. He typically walks without a frame in his videos. We're not going outside. No, that way. It's rainy. It's rainy outside. It's rainy outside. He appears to require less support when wearing his bell cane. He also seems to walk more and request to walk outside with the bell cane on compared to without it. His mom indicated that he walks across areas that he was once <laughs> afraid to go before he got his belt okay, cane. He also signs done and asks to take it off. Okay. All right. Participant 5 is 60 months old. She uses a frame for balance and can walk without it. But she doesn't walk very often on her own and doesn't like to be strapped into her frame. She just got her bell cane, and she appears not to like it either. <laughs> Preliminary results suggest these children with charge syndrome benefited from wearing their bell canes and suggest that it is important to find ways to encourage them to increase the amount of time they wear them. The belt cane provides a tactile substitute for the missing visual information needed for balanced, safe, and self-confident walking. Thank you. For more information, please go to safetoddles.org.